What's up guys this is Ronnie welcome back to our channel total technology this is tutorial 69 and today's topic will be on properties clause so this is again going to be very simple thing one liner code but I will explain you what is the uses of this properties class so first uh, let me explain you the definition so properties return a map containing all properties of a node or relationship so what is map suppose uh, uh, let me explain you from here actually um, uh, again properties returns a map containing all properties of a node or a relationship so now we need to understand what is map okay so what I'll do I'll just go here to map this thing my neo 4j okay yes so let me check if I have anything uh, for the sample use case return n yes i have one node but there is not much property so what i'll do i'll delete everything match in delete n okay done now i'll create two nodes okay mm, employee let's say name equals to ronnie what happened Mm, then another property let's say company equals to xyz let's do it city equals to let's say mm, Kolkata okay and we'll create another one and here we'll give it let's say a mm, let's say we'll give it as bob abc okay so now the thing is that uh, we need to run this thing so if i execute this thing see we got two nodes and this node we have a uh, a list of property which is containing company city and Kolkata and every property has a value like uh, if I go here see a uh, name uh, is Ronnie company is XYZ city is Kolkata so this is the map of the nodes property and also this is a map of the second node property so now if I apply properties clause on top of this node a it should return this map and this map so all together this key value pair with respect to properties name and value will be known as a map okay so now you all all familiar with what is map now we'll try to do our actual use case so that is uh, uh, here using example uh, example using from new 4 okay so we'll write match a okay and after that uh, return properties a see we have actually two nodes so it is uh, returned as a map see city Kolkata name running like this so this is very simple okay so what I'll do and if you want to do it for a specific node then also it is possible where a dot name equals to Ronnie see again it is coming so everything is possible here so let me write down this thing file out based on where clause So line okay so next thing is that we'll do the same thing from Python ID so again let me open my browser so I forgot where is my Neo4j thing here yes so we'll remove this thing we'll write down this thing here okay and let's result happened 
okay so this is the query actually I copy pasted from the cipher console and we'll run the same thing from python okay now print okay if I run this thing see I get to one map just because I use where clause so I'm getting this thing so so first thing I will write here based on where clause okay so there should not be any color and we will make it a bit like this and duplicate slide I think if I'm not writing this thing here I can make it a bit larger like this okay and here also for all nodes and okay so the same query only we need to remove this thing okay so it is going to return two maps see we got two maps one is this one and one is this one so again this is very simple very similar to our cipher thing only mm, uh, difference is this part and this part and why we are doing this for the new student or the new viewers guys we are actually uh, uh, our actual goal is to develop one application using Neo4j as a backend and Python Flask as a web framework and some other front-end technologies like uh, uh, HTML CSS and JavaScript so that time uh, I'll di directly will be working on the Flask part not going to explain all these queries from the Python thing so that is why I'm doing this thing parallelly like I have actually uh, writing down the queries or cipher queries directly from the neo4j console and then after uh, executing the same thing uh, executing that thing uh, I, I actually executing this same query again from the python just because to give you guys parallel uh, like uh, experience of two things together so that we should not like uh, waste any further time when we are actually going to develop the a flask based flask based application using neo4j so that is the reason i'm doing this thing together okay so that's it guys let me just copy paste this thing in the here but don't worry i'll upload the source code and as well as um, the github link of this uh, um, ppt and um, as well as the source code together in the video description box and also for the udemy student you guys also will get the code as a separate github uh, uh, repository link and this pdf repository link so you guys can uh, refer to this in the future um, purpose or for your knowledge uh, reference okay so that's it guys uh, hope to see in the next video very soon till then take care goodbye and don't forget to subscribe our channel hit the like button and also if possible try to share our videos with your family friends whoever you think is um, going to enjoy our content so that's it once again have a nice day take care goodbye and see you in the next video very soon Thank <laughs> you.